Star Wars vs. Star Trek, Coke vs. Pepsi, Edison vs. Tesla. History is filled with famous rivalries, but few have matched the intensity and quite often the viciousness seen when two tech industry giants clash heads. Charting their path from the dawn of computers to the current digital age, here are what we consider the five biggest rivalries in computing history. Apple versus Microsoft. The most famous tech rivalry of all time, the battle between Microsoft and Apple has raged since the mid-80s, continues today, although to a far lesser extent. Whether it's PC versus Mac, Windows versus Mac OS, iPhone versus Windows Mobile, or more recently, iPad versus Surface. Things weren't always this way though. The two companies worked together during the early 80s with Microsoft developing software for the Apple II. Bill Gates even joked that his company had more people working on the Mac than Steve Jobs did. The relationship went south after Jobs accused Gates of ripping off the Macintosh OS for Microsoft's version of a GUI OS, Windows. When faced with this accusation, Gates famously replied, quote, Well, Steve, I think there's more than one way of looking at it. I think it's more like we both had this rich neighbor named Xerox, and I broke into his house to steal the TV set and found out you had already stolen it, end quote. The first graphical interface was developed by Xerox PARC, not Apple. Jobs and Gates had a complicated relationship over the following decades. The two companies were competitors in the PC market, but for a long time, Apple depended on Microsoft to develop popular applications such as Word and Excel for the Mac, so it licensed some of its technologies to its chief competitor. Fast forward to 1997, and Apple wasn't doing so well before the company brought back Steve Jobs as part of the next acquisition. During that year's Macworld Expo, Jobs infamously announced that Apple had signed a five-year deal with Microsoft that would see the continued development of Internet Explorer and Office for the Mac. Microsoft also invested $150 million into its rival, saving it from the brink of bankruptcy. The following decade saw Apple's Lazarus-like resurgence. iPods made the company cool again, the I'm a Mac, I'm a PC ads, ran for about 4 years and 66 episodes, hammering home the Apple equals hip, PC equals nerdy narrative. The iPhone made the company an undisputed industry leader, and then some, becoming the most dominant tech firm in history. These days, Microsoft and Apple appear to have a fruitful relationship, and in a way no longer pursue the same core interests. For a while, the Bing search engine was used for Siri on the iPhone. Office for Mac and the iPhone are flourishing in its own particular way. The mocking ads are still around to an extent, and Tim Cook said that while they do still compete, they can partner on more things than they compete on. Quote, I'm not a believer in holding grudges, end quote, the CEO said. AMD versus Intel. Intel and AMD have been around for decades, but even though both companies were founded in the late 60s, their rivalry didn't heat up for another 20 years. Things were going well in the beginning. Intel entered into a cross-licensing agreement with AMD in 1976, and in 1982, the pair signed a technology exchange agreement as IBM didn't want Intel to be its sole source of chips. The PC maker demanded a second source manufacturer for its x86 microprocessor, so a deal was signed that gave AMD access to Intel's second-gen 286 chip technology. The relationship started to fall apart in the mid-80s when Intel refused to give AMD a license to its 386 microprocessor. AMD said that this was part of a plan for its rival to create a PC chip monopoly, and in 1987, it accused Intel of breaking the contract they signed five years earlier. AMD petitioned for arbitration, and so began years of legal battles between the pair. In 1995, the companies agreed to settle all litigation as part of a global settlement. Intel got $58 million, while AMD got $18 million and a perpetual license to the microcode found in Intel's 386 and 486 chips. However, more lawsuits followed, which ultimately led to a $1.4 billion EU fine against Intel, based on anti-competitive practices towards AMD. In the early 2000s, AMD was beating Intel handily for the first time with their successful Athlon chips, but the introduction of Intel's core architecture saw AMD relegated to be the budget option for over a decade, again. While Intel continues to dominate the PC market, 
AMD has been relentless these past few years, gaining overwhelming goodwill with enthusiasts thanks to Ryzen processors. This technological leap has slowly permeated to other areas where Intel usually reigned unopposed, but AMD is now presenting a real challenge, the highly lucrative server market and then laptops where AMD has never been all that competitive. AMD Radeon GPUs are also found in the latest gaming consoles from Sony and Microsoft. On the opposite front, Intel is joining the GPU war soon, bringing the fight to AMD not only in the consumer market, but in the data center where GPUs are increasingly playing an important role. Apple vs Samsung There are plenty of Android phones out there, but for a lot of people, it's just a simple question of Galaxy or iPhone. The Cupertino company for years argued that Samsung shouldn't even be a competitor, as it ripped off Apple's technology and designs. The pair sued and countersued each other across the courts for years. Four dozen patent lawsuits and nearly a decade later, the company settled these differences in May 2018, awarding Apple $539 million that Samsung had to pay for infringing on its competitor's patent. However, the resolution was widely considered a win for Samsung, which was already positioned as one of only two leaders in the smartphone business. Not all that surprisingly, in 2021, both of Apple and Samsung's flagship phones are more evenly matched than ever before. Both companies have also produced the most popular phones in the world for the last few years, with Samsung staying ahead in sales volume, while Apple is known to be the most profitable of all vendors, with an entire ecosystem of devices, services, and software that have uniquely positioned the company. If you add all of Samsung's commercials that take jabs at iPhones, the animosity between the company's fans, and the continuing accusations of copying, and you can see how this rivalry is likely to continue for many years to come. Nintendo vs Sega Nintendo was founded in 1889 as a playing card company, while Sega traces its origins to 1940 as a slot machine firm based in Hawaii. Many, many years later, the pair would become fierce rivals in the world of arcade machines, handheld gaming devices, and most famously, game consoles. Arcades made Sega a dominant force during the industry's golden age of 1978 to 1983, but Nintendo was experiencing success of its own with its Game & Watch handheld devices. The latter company's defining moment came when Donkey Kong arrived in arcades in 1981, bringing with it a defining icon, a carpenter called Mario, although he didn't become a plumber until 1983's Mario Brothers. Nintendo released the Family Computer, or Famicom, in Japan in 1983, the same day Sega launched its console, the SG-1000, which turned out to be a failure for the company. The two machines were eventually updated and redesigned for release in North America. Nintendo unleashed the NES in 1985 and went on to become the best-selling console of its era. And while Sega's Master System came to the States in 1986 to compete with Nintendo's machine, it couldn't match its rival's popularity. Later on, we saw updated consoles the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, or SNES, and the Sega Genesis. And with it came one of the earliest and probably most famous console wars, along with Sega's rival baiting slogan, Genesis does what Nintendo. Various consoles and handhelds followed, and though Sonic the Hedgehog helped put Sega on top for a while, Nintendo's N64 and the appearance of the Sony PlayStation spelled the beginning of the end for Sega's console endeavors. The company's last, and some would say their best, console was the Dreamcast in 1998. The Dreamcast sold well in North America and Europe, but struggled to make an impact in Japan. Not long after the PlayStation 2 arrived, Sega decided to discontinue the Dreamcast. When the last one rolled off the assembly lines in 2001, it marked the end of two decades of Sega consoles. Nintendo remains a highly successful video game company and console maker. The Nintendo Switch has been a smashing success, and the company more than ever protects its IP that includes titles such as Animal Crossing, Donkey Kong, Mario, Zelda, Metroid, Splatoon, and of course, Pokemon. Meanwhile, Sega now mainly acts as a game developer and publisher. It is present in various platforms including mobile and smartphone gaming, and continues to reign in the more niche arcade business. It's also present in popular culture in various forms 
most prominently as of late with the film Sonic the Hedgehog, which set a new benchmark for movies based on video games. Google vs. Apple When the first Android phone was introduced in 2010, sharing many of the iPhone's most popular features, Steve Jobs famously said, quote, I will spend my last dying breath if I need to, and I will spend every penny of Apple's $40 billion in the bank to right this wrong. Jobs also added, quote, I'm going to destroy Android because it's a stolen product. I'm willing to go thermonuclear war on this. Things weren't always this way, though. When the first iPhone was unveiled in 2007, it came out of the box with Google Search, Google Maps, and YouTube installed on every device. But it was Google's acquisition of mobile startup Android Inc. that sowed the seeds of the company's rivalry. Jobs was especially angry at Android, taking it as a personal betrayal. Google's then CEO, Eric Schmidt, was serving on Apple's board of directors when the Android mobile platform was announced in November 2007. He remained in this position until August 2009 when he was persuaded to resign. So began the years of legal wars. Apple started patent litigation against HTC, Samsung, and Google partners such as Motorola. Jobs had told Schmidt in 2010, quote, I don't want your money. If you offer me $5 billion, I won't want it. I've got plenty of money. I want you to stop using our ideas in Android. That's all I want. Relations hit a low point in 2012 when Apple replaced Google Maps with its own mapping solution in iOS 6. The software was so bad that Tim Cook personally apologized for that not long after launch. That fiasco is the reason why Apple launched a public beta program for iOS. To this day, the pair have a relationship that's best described as complicated. See a pattern here? The two companies still take pot shots at each other and have competing products, but Google pays Apple billions of dollars every year to keep it as the default search provider on iPhones. Apple gets a cut every time an iPhone or an iPad user sees a Google ad on search results. The companies also collaborate in other areas, such as YouTube. CEO Tim Cook is known to have a bigger fixation against Facebook and is more relaxed about Google as a competitor. In fact, he was caught saying not long ago that Google search engine is the best. For the better part of the last decade, Apple and Google have taken top spots as the world's most valuable brands, with Google usually sitting right below the fruity company. How about other tech rivalries in the making? While many of these don't yet possess the history or savagery to make it in our top five, in a few years, who knows? Which do you think has the most potential? Nvidia versus Intel versus Qualcomm? Big Tech versus the US government? Apple versus Facebook? Netflix versus Disney versus Amazon? Tesla versus the automotive industry? Or SpaceX versus Blue Origin? Thank you for watching this list of our top five biggest tech rivalries. If you'd like more content like this, go ahead and click that subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified when we drop more videos.